English Tim here. Today I'm doing part three on my guide on how to get more out of your cities, more resources. So this is uh, not farming. This is the other things that you can do to bring in those resources that are still helpful. If you play Luna, do check out my channel. There's more stuff on there for earlier videos I've made on Luna. Otherwise, let's dive into it now. got the wishing well, that one you probably come across, get yourself some nice free stuff. The higher the level your wishing well, the more you get and the more free wishes that you get. So just make sure you use these. Now in terms of spending gold, if we compare this to the shop, if you let's compare it to the cheaper packages if you're only doing a small number, you can see that for 10 gold you get 500 silver and in the wishing well that first wish at 2 is getting you 823 for 2 gold, so 10 gold would have got you 500, so it's actually worth buying if you're spending gold to get these resources. So 6 gold for 850, and when we get up to what, 10 gold, 877. So here comparing for 10 gold you get 500 silver and we're getting over 800 so it's still worth spending so the wishing well is a much better first step than going through the shop to buy these lower level packages. So you want to keep doing this until you get to the point where the price is matched and actually the higher your level the higher your numbers will be so it will vary. But you can see for every gold I'm spending, the benefits are dropping proportionally. It's still cheaper than buying in the shop. However, it is much, uh, it is still getting much less effective. So it's better to do lots of little purchases. So buy all of these every day to a, a lower level and just keep doing that. If you're not in a big hurry, if you're in a big hurry, I understand sometimes you need resources, you want to start your upgrades, so you can keep going. So yeah, just keep going until this figure is uh, less beneficial than going to the shop. Now technically it's not increasing your production, but there are two sides of the coin. When it comes to food, your food will be eaten by your troops if you don't have a high enough level troop upkeep. So your total upkeep here, you can see my troops are eating currently 332,000 food per hour. That's every hour and that means they're eating a lot of food. So if you can reduce that, it's as important as increasing production. So you can do that through the research tree. So if you look at development, and we've got the upkeep reduction here, you can reduce that by 5%. They'll eat 5% less food. And you can also do so in the Alliance tech tree. So if you go to Alliance research and into development, then we've got the efficiency skill here, and that can also help to reduce your troop upkeep and increase the food that you get to keep that you produced. You also want to make sure you always collect your territory, your territory resources. Click that claim button and make sure you do that a couple of times a day, two, three times a day. They're really good, especially in your uh, smaller accounts. They can really make a big difference. Now there's a couple of other ways as well, so technically not production, but they're effectively the same. If you go to your spy loot store, then here you can spend your spy loot crystals on on these food items. I'd say pretty better to spend it on stats items generally, but if you really need food, then this is a good way to get hold of it. And in fact, all the different materials are available here. You also want to check out in the uh, Unreal Arena, if you um, claim your resources, you can see that you get hold of these items, you can do that every six hours. You can also go looting as well, so if you are powerful enough to start winning some of these battles, make sure you uh, get your best force that you can. And when you win, you can see here I've collected the uh, the loot that they've uh, they've got unprotected at that time. So another way to improve your production in your city. So you should also claim your daily rewards that pop up here multiple times per day. This time it's not resources, but you can get resources from here from time to time. And you've also got the Alliance Store as well. So if you go into the Alliance Store, you can directly buy resources. So you can see here you can buy the boosts. That's actually on deal today. And if we go lower down, you can directly buy resources. So here you can get 10 lots of 6,000 iron. And we've got wood here as well. And here's some food. So everything apart from silver, I think. Yep, you can only boost your silver mine. You can't directly get hold of silver in the Alliance store.
Let me know if you think I should be recommending anything else that you can do. There are plenty of other ways. I think it technically it will be in my gathering video, but going out and hitting monsters and barbarians, you get a lot of resources burning your stamina, and I'll take you through the full list of gathering tasks in my next video out shortly. So I am English Tim, thanks for watching this video. If you're enjoying my content, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell if you want to be updated about my upcoming videos. On my channel you'll also see more on different ways of getting your resources up. And thanks for watching this video.